Hey, 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 everybody. It's Amy Ness with the Amy Ness Realty Group, and I am here for the Friday follow-up. And what I'm going to talk about this week is appraisal gap. So you may have heard the word on the streets about appraisal gap and not understood what exactly it was. So I thought I'd talk a little bit about it today. It doesn't occur with every purchase or sale of real estate, but it is something that's very important. And appraisal gap is basically the difference between the purchase price that's been agreed upon and an appraisal price. And so that's the gap. If it's a number that could be even $1,000 different, it could be $20,000 different. That's a big difference. And so what that looks like is either the seller can concede to come down to that price or the buyer can find some out-of-pocket funds to cover that gap. So in a lot of purchase agreements in this competitive market, there have been buyers that have been writing in clauses for an appraisal gap to be paid out of pocket. Well, that is great. So that's where the money comes from, is out of pocket. So the buyer has to have some kind of proof of funds maybe that they can pay that. Because if you don't know if they have the money to do that as a seller, or even the buyer's agent if they haven't asked for that, then there's no way to know for sure that they have the money to pay that gap. And when you get to that point in the transaction where you're about ready to close, that money needs to be talked about. And that could be a big problem because if that buyer doesn't have that, they could lose out on the earnest money. And that's a problem for the seller because they have to go back on market. So we've talked about where the money comes from. Where does it go? So if there is a gap and the buyer has proof of funds, has the wherewithal to pay out of pocket on that appraisal gap, that amount is going to be either wired or a check is going to be written to the title company so that they can do the checks and balances for the purchase to be equal to the amount they're bringing to the table that day. Can't be under, got to have the money to buy the house. So that's the difference. It is out of pocket. It can't be financed. It goes to the title company and it's really important to know if they can pay that. So I just wanted to talk a little bit about that. I know that people have been asking me all week about it. I've dealt with it on transactions of my own. I've dealt with it in conversations with other buyer's agents when I has been on offers, multiple offers on listings that I've had. And it's pretty important. It's money. It's the dollars and cents, the wherewithal to actually be able to purchase the home. So that's something new and interesting. It hasn't been talked about a whole lot in the last few years up until now. And so if you have some questions, I'm here to help. You can always send me a DM or private message me, call me, text me, and I'd be happy to teach you more. So hope you guys have a great week and headed into a great weekend. And I'll talk to you next week. Bye.